This is my ICOM 705 connected to WSJTX with a USB-C cable. Look at that. Let me tell you all about this, this time on Ham Radio Tube. So this is the drop-in replacement board for the ICOM 705. It features a USB-C input that's going to have all the same functionality, exactly the same functionality as the micro USB that comes stock with the 705. It doesn't have PD, but it'll still charge the 705. But the other thing they did in this, on this Send ALC circuit, the original one could only handle like 30 milliamps. Well, this one handles of an entire amp. They also put a Zener diode in to protect over voltage if there's like surges coming back from the amplifier. So what that means is if you're using a 12 volt amplifier that uses like the 12 volt to ground to key it like this MXP50 amp, you don't have to do any modifications. I took this apart a couple years ago and did some modifications in here to um, make it work, make it be happy with the 705, but you don't have to do this. So I purchased this, it was $84. I paid full retail price, not sponsored, not a free endorsement or anything. And this has been on the market for a while. There's other videos about it, but as I'm gradually moving everything over to USB-C, this is kind of the, the final thing that wasn't USB-C. Uh, in my arsenal other than my 7300 so very very easy to swap out this should take about five minutes if that and all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver so let me show you how we do that so on our 705 we need to remove six screws from the outside and then there's three screws that are holding this board down that we're going to need to remove so on the top of the radio we're going to remove this screw on the bottom of the radio we're going to remove that little guy and then we're gonna remove these four screws and open it up. And these are longer, so you don't even need to worry about getting the screws mixed up. Very, very easy modification to this. Now that our screws are removed, we're gonna simply kind of separate the, the front panel from the body. Mine these ribbon cables here, but you can just kind of fold it over and lay it on your workbench. And this board right here is what we're concerned about. So we're going to remove these three screws and this ribbon cable. And three. And then this board just literally comes out. You can just kind of grab the ribbon cable. Be careful. And see if we can zoom in here a little bit. There's a little black tab there that we're just going to kind of flick up. And it's up now, and we're going to remove the ribbon cable, just like that. So that's the old board, and we're going to swap it with the new board. Now with the new board, we're going to have it face up, and the USB-C will be towards you. And this guy has the black little flap there. We can go ahead and lift that up, okay? And then we're going to slide this little ribbon cable inside the port there. It doesn't go in very far. And then we close that guy down and now that's secure in there. We flip it over, line it up with our screw holes, and we screw it back down. And I like to leave them all a little bit loose just so you can get all three of these lined up before you totally wrench them down all the way. And that's the completed project. So to put it back together, we're just going to fold the uh, screen back on and put the screws back in. So that's it. This is ready to go. It is instant. You don't need to do anything. And let's just show you. I've got my little power bank here. Let's plug our USB-C cable in to charge this now. And there we are, we can see the charging light is on. Putting in six watts, that's great. This battery's mostly charged. We can plug in our USB-C cable to our computer for digital modes. Open up WSJTX. And it just works. And we can plug in amplifiers like my MXP50M into the new Send ALC circuit without fear of frying anything. So watch that red light right there. 
I'm going to hit tune in WSJTX. There we are. It is transmitting. Life is good. How cool is that? Guys, I will leave a link to this board in the description and make sure to put this board, the original one, back in your box for the ICOM 705. My name is Mike K. and I'm Marty. Thanks so much for watching Ham Radio Tube. We'll see you next time. 73.